it could be an exhibition in any art capital of the world. Contemporary works that include paintings, films and sculptures are all on display. But this is Kabul and all the artists are Afghan. Like Mohammed Dawood, inspired by Leonardo da Vinci as much as the world around him. As a contemporary artist, we are free to do whatever we want. So we go to the society, we know the situation of our country, we know what is the different uh, uh, problems of the country, so we just uh, get the idea and then we make the installation or an art piece or a video film or something like that. He is one of 10 artists from across the country who have been selected to exhibit their work in the capital. Turquoise Mountain, an organization promoting local crafts, chose them from over 100 entries. We've seen extraordinary works coming in, almost like outsider art, from people who have no uh, formal training at all, but still have that, that creative impulse, that desire to make work. Scenes like this are not that common in Kabul, and most of the artists do have to deal with the day-to-day -day realities of life and their own day jobs to support their families. But events like this help them pursue the dream of one day becoming professional artists. Perhaps one of the most passionate here about that dream is Azim Fakhri, displaying his first ever installation. During the daytime, I'm working with two companies as an IT manager, I'm a computer engineer, so like through that I'm trying to help my family and uh, because I'm the eldest son of my father that's why. And beside that I'm, I'm doing art because what I believe is uh, I can express my feelings into arts and this is what I love. Azim doesn't focus much on war but on a more hopeful future. War has passed and what I believe is I'm not focusing what is past. I'm thinking about future and I'm always positive. Same as my blood group, be positive. And surely, turning war into something positive is an art in itself. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Kabul, Afghanistan.